What is up guys, Kianpai here. MiHoYo has just posted an explanation of version 2.1 update details, so I wanted to go over this to tell you guys what the important parts are, especially with the uproar of Ball's bug or interact inability to interact properly with Beidou, and they do kind of explain that in this post here. Alright, the first thing this post ends up covering is the new fishing system. There's been a lot of people wondering how you unlock the fishing system. What you're going to have to do is do uh, some corresponding world quests to unlock the system, as well as do like a short two minute tutorial through the fishing association to go and get all the fish to spawn. Once the fish are spawned inside Teyvat, there will be fish in various waters, and you'll have to use special baits to attract certain fish. Just, be, just keep in mind that certain fish are only available in certain areas or certain waters, and you'll be able to use these fish to turn them into the fishing association to go and get certain bonuses, such as the catch or various other things. You can also use these for fish for cooking or put them inside your teapot. The next thing they talk about is the increasing of the level cap of the Sakura tree over at the Inazuma North Island. And then the next thing they end up talking about is Raiden Shogun, about how she ends up working. So if you guys are unaware about how Raiden Shogun works is when she does her ultimate, she converts herself into electro damage for 7 seconds. However, during these 7 seconds, her normal attack, charge attack, plunges, every sort of damage she ends up doing is considered ultimate damage. And because of that, uh, there's a lot of confusion about how it's going to interact with a lot of attacks. However, uh, her auto attacks will still work with attacks that have normal attack in the passive. So what I mean by that for normal attacks is that you'll see some things like Xingqiu's burst where it says your active character's normal attacks as well as Fischl's constellation 1 will say your normal attack. So if it's just a normal attack without any damage dealt to it or any sort of hit remark then it will activate through uh, Ball's auto attacks within her burst form. However, something such as Beidou with her Stormbreaker, you can see here on her Stormbreaker description it says when it does a normal charge attack hit, which is considered kind of like a damaging hit, it will not activate, which is why people are in a bit of an uproar about Ball plus Beidou interactions because it seems like MiHoYo might be wanting to make Ball and Sarah thing more so than Ball and Beidou. Another important thing that won't be working with Ball is the vacuum blades on a Skyrim Spine. I know there's a lot of people who have Skyrim Spine that were curious about how good this will be. The increased normal attack speed by 12% will be working because this is not damage related. This is just actually normal attack swing related. But apparently, according to some beta testers, some people, they've been saying that this 12% increased attack speed will only end up letting you do one extra normal attack inconsistently with Ball. The vacuum blades not working with Ball may not necessarily mean that this is going to be a bad weapon on her because it does have the highest base attack for a pole arm, as well as the attack speed can definitely still help you, especially with the crit rate on top of that. The alternative to this would be the catch, and it might take a while to get catch R5. And because Ball's attacks in her burst form is considered elemental burst damage, the things that will work with her are burst boosters, such as four piece emblem set bonus or noble supplies. Some other things that won't work with her in her burst form will be the charge attack attack costing no stamina with bloodstained chivalry if you kill a target as well as once again the vacuum blades other things that won't work are also going to be things like four piece uh, gladiators finale as well as four piece shimanawa so beware of trying to use anything that boosts normal and charge attack damage there's also apparently an issue with ball where she was supposed to only generate the resolve stacks after you use a burst skill and consume the energy but currently right now in 2.1 she actually ends up getting the resolve stacks just unleashing the elemental burst skills. I'm not too sure how that really affects her, but they're apparently changing that in 2.2, which I guess might be kind of a nerf, but I don't think so because it says right here at the end, the fix will not affect the use of this character. I guess it's just some logistics. And the other thing they talk about in this post is that they're removing the Nobushi skill to jump back as well as optimizing the combat experience when dealing with Nobushi's sword drawing technique, which is when they shoot their sword and then spin out for the Nobushi, not the Kairagi, and it's reducing the weight of the Nobushi and the Kairagi, which they talked about previously before. And the very last thing they talk about this post is the nerf to the Pyro Hypostasis, which is going to make it so that the core is exposed longer, because compared to other cubes, they don't. the Pyro cube has a shorter time, as well as the amount of time to deal with the tinders is going to be extended so that you don't have to panic and monk a steer to be able to destroy the tinders so that he doesn't get the shield. One other thing I do want to note about Ball is that Ball actually does not carry over resolve stacks in the Abyss. So I'm pretty sure that is intended, but that does really stink that you can't just have all the resolve stacks ready for the next floor, just like you can have energy. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video. It does stink that there's a lot of 
things that don't interact well with ball but i do think she can be very fun to play with despite all these setbacks hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like comment down below what you guys think about ball especially with these uh interactions with elemental burst normal attack things like that as well as with the abyss make sure you guys subscribe to the youtube channel so that you guys can get up-to-date guides on ball as well as alloy and everything 2.1 genshin related make sure you guys follow me on twitch to watch these live tests as well as make sure you guys join the discord to be part of our genshin impact community we are having a giveaway in the discord for a few welcome moon passes if you'd like to take part in that make sure you guys follow twitter where i post things like when the servers go live immediately as well as primo gem codes do some giveaways we do have two giveaways for welcome moon passes going on right now as well as some genshin guides and updates thanks again for watching i'll catch you next time peace